There's so much fucked up shit to get into. Or were you I was, staying yeah. Quiet? Okay. I said hi. I love you too. Start <laughs> filming. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Little Stickers, baby. I'm Michael Fucking Rainey here with Cat Anjala. Hey, everybody. Hey, Chippy. Jeff Simmons, who helped me pull off an epic prank on these two rascals here. <laughs> How dare you incite diarrhea in me after I just eat a quarter pounder <laughs> with cheese? Uh, you you made Jeff the bait. He was our damsel in distress. He was. We were Who so concerned. Played it pretty well. He was. I could hear every word he was saying, and man, he was fucking nailing it. But as soon as I knew it was a setup, I was like, that's why he wouldn't start the fucking car again. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it in the first place. <laughs> Classic final season of Breaking Bad. Now, as you could probably see by the title of this episode, uh, tonight we're covering, coin toss permitting, uh, Xavier Michael Babadar, Chiefs a very cool guy. Uh, Chiefs fan who ended up robbing a bunch of banks to fund uh, his lifestyle, which included going to all the Chiefs away games and all the home games as well. He traveled with them? Yes. Okay. Dude, uh, well, he, before we get too carried away, let's yeah, just yeah, yeah. flip this puppy. Who knows? Maybe tonight might be your night, John. It could, I and you know sure what? sure hope so. That would be great. Though, no, something tells me you'd wear that cat mask <laughs> either way. <laughs> Here we go. On Joe, on Q, on Mer, on Sal. Ah, they fucked me again. We're doing it, baby. Thank God, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so back to what I was saying, because tonight we're covering Chiefs of Hulk, I was like, all right, let me rob Jake and John. So uh, I parked where Jake and John usually park, and I hid in the back of my daughter's car because I knew they'd probably recognize my car. And uh, our beloved Jeff Simmons pretended as though his car was broken down, and I could hear the jig the entire time. You guys did everything right. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely everything. You were right. I would have thought something stranger if it was your car. Yes. Thought it was weird in the first place. That's a car that's never parked there. Yep. Yeah, that was odd. I was like, oh, seeing him pretend like something was wrong in his car (laughs) in hindsight. He's just like, everything (laughs) looks fine. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, rats ate the wire. (laughs) He was like, it was hot when when I turned the car off. I was like, that's weird. Cars are always hot. Just kept puttering. <laughs> it was <laughs> all Mike's idea. I, I no. can't take much credit for it. I just no, had very to sell it as best exchange, as I could. We're exchanged, and Jeff nailed it. Did he tell you to get here early for that? He j- Well, he <laughs> said just get here normal time. I mean, I usually get here before you guys anyway, so I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> and uh, I heard you pull up and talk to him, and then Jake pulled up. Jake actually parked right next to me. Yeah. So I was a little worried about him seeing me in the back seat of the car. Uh-huh. Didn't see you at he all. did not. Was your whole body covered by a blanket? No, I was just lying down, and uh, uh, I figured this would cover enough of my face so you probably wouldn't see me. Were you ass up? No, I wasn't. Oh, I was lying on my back, and uh, I was getting a little bit sleepy. <laughs> Very comfy. Yeah, if he had just taken a nap. <laughs> great. We were Jeff was waiting for waiting. the cue. <laughs> then Jeff called me uh, as though he was calling his wife. and said, listen, I'm having some car trouble. I might be late tonight. And I said, I love you. Start filming. And you do a lot, but you still have a lot of free time somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Easy you. Easy guy, a lot of free time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said about me. So, yeah, tonight we're talking about Xavier Michael Babadar. Now, his name is spelled uniquely, and I've heard his name pronounced as Xavier, and it also pronounced as Xavier, so I'm going to call him Xavier. How's it spelled? X-A-V-I-A-R. Which would normally be Xavier. Well, it's usually spelled with an E on the end. Yeah. Okay. This looks like ecstasy caviar. I like that. Yeah. Wow. But he was going by Chief Saholic. You've seen him before, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I saw a couple of images of him in the past year or two mm-hmm. since they've been going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. But definitely heard about him robbing banks when it happened. Cool guy. All right. That's not even up for debate here. <laughs> and he would dress in a tank top. In Chiefs boxers or Chiefs Zubaz pants. And uh, he would get everybody riled up. He was he would interact with people constantly on Twitter. He'd say, hey, I'm sitting here. Come by and say hi. He would go to all... He went to every game from 2016 up until the season where they beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl last year, which was the 2022 season. That's when he got caught. Oh, so he didn't get to see the second Super Bowl. He did, but from jail. Wow. Wait, this is not the Wolf no, guy? No, he was out. He was out. It is, yeah. 
I thought that just happened this year that he got caught. He got rearrested. So he was initially wow. arrested. He wait since 2016. Sorry to interrupt, but he was paying his way since 2016 by robbing banks. He was caught for robbing banks uh, in 2022 and 2023. He okay. admitted to 11 robberies or attempted robberies. Okay, he may have been robbing banks prior to that, but what they got him on were the 2022 and 2023 ones. Yeah. He was also a gambler, so he may, to, may have been able to finance his living that way as well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but he's a pretty interesting dude. I found out a lot about him. Uh, in, in 2004, Jake, uh, you're going to want to hold his hand for this, John. Yeah, already. In 2004, his father bailed on he and his brother. Oh, man. Real bummer, man. They, they lived in a nice house in Laguna Beach, California, right by the beach. Whoa. And uh, this kind of cracked me up. He went to top of the world elementary school. I think there was an <clears throat> also an elementary school in my neighborhood called Top of the World. Shut the fuck up. I think so. It was at the Did top you of the hill. You didn't go there? It was a good skate spot. No, in, the L- in L.A. when I lived there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was that near Laguna Beach? Mm-mm. How but strange to have two. two. I know. Wait, when was he born? Uh, it's my mother's birthday, July 3rd, 1994. Okay. Oh, he's a young guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's only 30? He's 29 right now. Wow. Oh my God, what a life. This guy's like fucking Frank Abagnale Jr. Bro, there were so many cool aspects of his life that I wish we became buddies. He would be a good guy. <laughs> and chat, if you're up for this too, I would be more than willing to communicate with him via mail to see if we can start a correspondence. Let's see what he can say. Yeah. Would you be up for that, Jake? I, I'd be game, yeah. I would like to because he seems like a jovial guy. ESPN submitted a bunch of questions through his lawyer, and uh, he submitted some very sp- funny responses. So he is willing to talk to people. Still a football lunatic, Jake. Chief fan, <laughs> still? He is, through and through. He's winning from inside. Damn. Yeah, he truly That's is. That's got to feel good. How do you not have Ch- Travis Kelsey bail you out, though? You know? Bro, uh, the Kelsey brothers tried to get him on their podcast when he was on the run. What? Jason spoke directly to him on the podcast. He said, Chief Saholic, if you're listening... We would like to have you come on the podcast to tell your side of the story. Oh, my God. He did not take him up on that. Uh, Quinn Porter, that's an excellent question. Quinn says, ask him how he feels about Taylor Swift. And, Dean, I like that idea. Dean says, 10,000 Patreon members and we rob a bank. (laughs) Oh, my God. 30 people show up. (laughs) (laughs) All right, how about this? Yeah, I'll get caught because I can't land a kickflip outside. (laughs) All right, we're going to do that, and patrons are already invited. So what we're going to do is we're going to rob a food bank. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) <laughs> 10,000 patrons We rob a food bank <laughs> But yeah man That was kind of a bummer His dad bailed uh, In 2004 And uh, They were living out of their car For a while Oh boy They dicked all around the country In the car uh, They would often get caught Shoplifting uh, This was kind of a bummer And uh, it really annoyed me That they ended up Prosecuting them for this So Don't they're diving. Not far off Are you familiar With a restaurant Called Soup Plantation No but boy, do I love a good portmanteau restaurant name, bro! You would love this. So it's a uh, it's a soup and salad buffet. Yeah. It's, it's a subplot of the show Party Down, where the main character wants to open up a Super Crackers. There you go, dude. They made fake gift certificates for this place. He, his wow. mom, and his brother, they used them there. The manager sniffed them out, and he ended up calling the cops on them. Oh, now, how damn. do you think it angry or call the cops on somebody that just wants fucking soup is insane to yeah, me. Yeah, seriously. Like, get your fucking shit together, man. You can go to a different location at least, you know. Yeah, at the real. most. Yeah. I'm loving this guy already. I, I, he's this hard is, not to like, man. He's yeah. A, Everything more, about this guy. It's a, like... A more blue-collar Frank Abagnale, like you were saying. Yeah. yeah. Furry collar. Perfect. More than anything, <laughs> but... <laughs> he's a good But boy. there is a collar involved. Yeah. <laughs> In 2014, he's arrested in Utah for stealing from a Walmart. Uh, one of his things was he would apparently go to Walmarts, uh, switch t- switch uh, price tags on things, try to return things that he didn't actually buy. Mm-hmm. They can Again. arrest you for that? <laughs> um, <laughs> Jakey, you got a couple of Walmarts you can't go back to. Um, I'm sure they were not nice to him in Utah for that, right? They probably prosecute. Probably not, yeah. 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 Um, and that was just an instance of them living around the country? It, well, by that time, like, he was on his own. Okay. Although he always, he kept a close relationship with his mother and his brother. In in uh, 2016, he was arrested again. Uh, he lied about his age. I like that. 
Uh, he lied about being 28 years old in 2016. So yeah, he, he was went actually way 22. Overboard. Yeah. He's trying to no reason car. for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just lying for the sake of lying, which yeah. I can always appreciate. <laughs> he also lied about graduating from Kansas State University. He just liked it because his mom used to take him to Kansas State games when he was a kid. This was very sweet, too. I found out a season ticket holder at Arrowhead Stadium said that he sold Xavier's mom tickets to a Chiefs game when he was a child. And everybody took note that Xavier was standing over his mother to guard her from the sun because it was a very hot day. How sweet is Aww. that, Jake? That's a no. nice. That's really. <laughs> was he dressed up as a, tri- a cat as a child as he well? He was not. He was no. normally dressed. And they just I didn't like, have Wolf Max on no. Amazon. When did he morph? <laughs> <laughs> you can actually see it during a game. They're, they're, he's, he's on the fan of the game, and then they show him like ripping through his dungarees <laughs> in his denim. <laughs> There were wolf masks on Amazon. However, I like the cat one better, and that's why I'm wearing a cat mask. I like that hat a lot. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for noticing my hat. Now, when I, when, before I cut the face out, uh, I felt like I was going to suffocate. I had to. Like, it is not a safe mask. Oh, you were going to do the whole thing with the face on? I was. The eyes are pretty scary. So I wish I kept them because the eyes were pretty spooky, but I had to cut it out to be able to breathe. <laughs> You got to do what you got to do. I know. It, that would have been a very cool way to die, though. That's how I would have wanted to have gone. <laughs> Suffocating in a cat mask for the sake of little stinkers. Why did you just keep the eyes and just cut out the mouth? I need to see, Jake. Okay. He needs to see and breathe. Yeah. But that's, not here. That's all, I, that's all I need in this life of sin is uh, my girlfriend <laughs> to see and to breathe. But, Jake, uh, he's, he's arrested... Uh, a number of times. Is everybody able to see this? No, okay. He's working on it. Okay. Oh, so man. Jeff's working on getting uh, the video of me punking these guys. <laughs> it already looks them. awesome. <laughs> Even if it doesn't go live during this, we'll put it on Patreon. Yes, no doubt. <laughs> so over the years leading up to 2020, he's busted a few times for, for petty theft and just dumb shit. The guy's like, the guy's just trying to get around. However, he does make every Chiefs game from 2016 on. That's crazy. Yeah. How was he getting around the country then? There's a lot of mis- uh, mystery around this guy. Uh-huh. Uh, before 2022, a lot is not known. Now, he would tweet often, and he would say that he managed a number of warehouses. He said, with hard work, anything's possible. <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> it's, well, yeah. So what it depends upon what kind of work you do. Yeah. yeah. But he really proved that, and this was very funny. In September of 2022, he ended up suing Robert Kraft because he fell on some ice outside Gillette Stadium. Did he win? I don't know. I don't know if it was ever brought to court, but in one of the pictures, I wish I fucking had it. I don't. Um, I did see it, though. But uh, after he fall, he, he fell on the ice, and after he fell, he's in full wolf costume posing with another fan with a knee brace on. <laughs> he probably had that already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck, it's probably too late for me to slip on ice this year. Mm-hmm. God damn it. There's still time. And, and this was kind of cool. Uh Patrick Mahomes has uh, the Mahomes Foundation, which which benefits uh, goofy-looking kids or something. I don't know. But they have a gala every year. And uh, Xavier Babadar, he went, and uh, in 2022, he had a little bit of scratch to go there. So he's up to something at this point. He had a little scratch to go to the Mahomes Foundation gala. He ends up either winning or bidding for and winning a painting, an autographed painting of Patrick Mahomes. And this is a gala. It costs twelve fifty to attend. Twelve hundred fifty bucks. It does. I was thinking at least a G. Yep. Wow. And the painting is valued at ten thousand dollars. <throat> and he actually paid for it. Yep. Yeah. Well, he won it. I don't know if it was in a raffle uh-huh. or a, a bidding war with somebody. He left with the fucking thing. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. And where people really started to worry about him is December sixteenth, twenty twenty two. The Chiefs were scheduled to play the Texans. They did play the Texans. But Chiefsaholic does not make it to the game. So people are like, where the fuck is this guy, Jake? Yeah. He's been in every game. He's always around. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's a little town called Bixby, Oklahoma. Ever heard of it, dickhead? I was talking to you. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that, Jake. No, I haven't, Mike. (laughs) So uh, it's, it's a little more than halfway between Kansas City and Houston, Texas. Okay. He stops in uh, to a bank there. And he robs the bank. He's arrested six minutes after the bank robbery. Eight minutes, I should say. Finally got his ass. They did get his ass. Yeah. I didn't know this. Uh, one of the charges against him was wearing a mask during a felony. Hmm? 
You knew about that? Yeah. That's a charge in, in and of itself? <clears throat> Can be. Depends on what state, I suppose. <clears throat> um, uh, hopefully not in the state of Iowa, because there are a lot of Slipknot fans there. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, it was the Tulsa Teachers Credit Union. Okay. That he robbed. And, uh, yeah, he gets busted pretty early on. Now, his bail initially is $200,000. For some reason... Uh, the beginning of February, his bail gets reduced to eighty thousand dollars. His mom contacts the bail bondsman, and he's able to get him out. Yeah, only eight grand to get him out, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's at this time they only think he robbed that bank. Okay. All right. And uh, they soon find out that he's been responsible for numerous bank robberies, just by looking at surveillance, and he fits the. He's the same the shaped guy yes. every yeah. time. And a popular question is, he's not dressed in the wolf costume. A wolf. He's okay. dressed like a man who's just trying to conceal his identity. Yeah. I think it would be good to Rob Bangs dressed as the wolf. Then they would think it was him. But, I mean, you're talking to a man in a cat costume right now. You don't think there's other animals out there? I haven't forgotten that. <laughs> And for the record, I think this getup would have looked a lot better if I had black cat paint on my face, but these two voted against it. We actually That's actually true. Yes. We had to convince him. We had to hold him back from going to his, his proprietary blackface room that he has upstairs. <laughs> actually, why don't we let the chat decide? If I can get a thousand meows in the chat. Oh, my God. I'll go get the paint and wear it for the rest of the episode. We'll get taken down. For what? Being a cat? <laughs> what are they going to do? Have me fixed, Jake? <laughs> Is that what you want? If we get taken down, I think we only have eight more lives left on YouTube. Before. All right, I see at least a dozen meows right now. Oh, if we, my if God. We, if oh, my we, God. <laughs> Whoa. I did not know that many people were watching. Woo! Don't do this. Ah, they're doubling up. There's four meows no. in one comment. Oh, and there's a wolf. <laughs> Guys. Wow. Guys. Oh, my God. Guys. Mike, this is how it ends, buddy. Don't do this. I'm, I'm getting emotional right now. I've never <laughs> seen this many meows in the chat. <laughs> Guys. Jesus Christ, man. Wow. That is a lot. That's a lot of... It's cat face. Oh, you're making Mike purr. It's cat face. If you can hold it down, I can be back here in three minutes. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, we can't hold it down. Oh. <sighs> We can't do it without you. All right, it's I'm going like to continue. Talk about entourage or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> the meows keep coming, man. <laughs> they are, oh. they are, they are, they're going to break the there chat are. function on YouTube. We got to be at least 100 right now. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're well over 100. Thank God there hasn't been any super chat meows because then <laughs> we would have had to. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this is crazy. This is. This is overwhelming. I'm about to start crying. This it's, is a lot it's of... It's a cat costume. How can you say no to that? I know how. No. <laughs> yeah, that's how. <laughs> We're doing this for you, buddy. <laughs> Somebody I, said their cat, cat. me out as well. <laughs> this, this has nothing to do with any kind of social faux pas. I know it doesn't. I know. I know in my heart that you do not think it does. But it's not going to be read that way. <laughs> oh no, the super oh. you're doing the super <laughs> Oh my god, no! Ow. Jesus Christ, stop it! He's he's purring on us. <laughs> oh, stop! No, I'm going to throw up. He's licking he's, me. He's cleaning John. He is cleaning John. Oh my god! Wow. I'm back. Jesus. Now, as a friend, I, I'm just going to ask one more time. John, why are you aroused? Yep. Why aren't you? Would you be okay if I put cat face on? Let's just keep him moving. I tried. So he's arrested. He's in jail. <laughs> I've I swear he, he gave us everything he had right there. I tried. How excited would you be to go put on makeup right now, Jake? 
you would see a smoke trail. <laughs> Following behind me. Oh, my God. As I went up to the aforementioned blackface room. <laughs> so you have a blackface room. <laughs> it's a cat face room. What did I just say? <laughs> oh, man. I want to let him do it, but I also don't. We're in the same boat. <laughs> Stay strong. Is that what you said? Yeah. All right. So Xavier Michael Babdar... <laughs> He's released on $80,000 bail, Jake. And this was very funny. He was locked up during the... Yeah, th- yeah. give him the helmet. I will gladly wear this helmet for the rest of my fucking life if you don't go up to the cat face room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this really cracked me up when I found out that while he was locked up, he was watching uh, the AFC championship game in jail, and he was raising such a fuss that he was getting yelled at to keep it down. Was he howling? Uh, yes. Dude, <laughs> yeah. he, he was screaming. He was howling. Oh, my God. And uh, when this news came out, he said, you could put the wolf in a cage, but he's still going to howl for his team. <laughs> Dude, he's loyal, man. He oh. is. Every, every team should have a fan like this. And did he also... I didn't mention this. Every Sunday, he would go to church with his mother and his brother. Another interesting fact about him is that when he he would go to games, he would walk miles to the stadium in his wolf suit because he refused to pay the $65 to park. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. What a weird set of uh, ethics that guy had. <laughs> and also, $65 is a lot for parking. It is. it is. But you can get somewhere near there and walk from there. I don't know, man. How many miles? He says five miles. I don't know how truthful that is. But then again, I've never been to Kansas City, so I don't know the configuration of there. You think he mile bragging? Mile line? He could be mile bragging. Jake, did you ever mile brag? I'm mile bragging every day of my life. I've mile bragged before. I, uh, at one of my low points, uh, this was coming back from Chicago when I went in 2008. I came back with no money in my pocket. This was before Uber. Couldn't afford a taxi. I didn't have a cell phone. I had to walk from the airport to my home in Glen Olden at the time. How many miles do you think that is? From 95? Yeah. To Glen? Oh, man. From the actual airport. Like five miles, maybe? Yeah, at least five, five or six. six. Yeah, but a good portion of that is you had to walk on I-95. I started walking on 95, and I got off no, on the wrong... Don't. Bro, you go on I, Island Ave. I had to. Well, <coughs> no. Well, that makes more sense. <laughs> but before walking on 95... He's fucking crossing 95. <laughs> As I was walking home on ni- toward 95, I got off on the wrong exit walking. So I had to go back around, and I eventually ended up on 95 carrying my, my old uh, Marine duffel bag. Oh, my God. I can't believe you didn't get arrested or killed. I would have killed to have been arrested because my <laughs> tootsies were on fucking fire. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Yeah, man. It's, um really makes me grateful for every time I could sit in the back of a cab and hear an immigrant screaming at his wife halfway across the globe now. Really makes you think, Jake, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does, Mike. Are you purring? Does this fit on top? It looks like they're uh Oh, they're oh, asking yeah. for me. Yeah. I will Yeah, because leave. you walked on the interstate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh perfect. my god. May may I say it's perfect. Thank you. So, Jake, while he's out on bail, he's staying at the Spring Hill Suites in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, while he's there, actually before he was there, it turns out before he got busted, he placed a couple bets at a local casino. All right. He placed a bet that the Chiefs would win the Super Bowl. So, five Gs that the Chiefs would win the Super Bowl uh, ended up paying out $55,000, and he bet five Gs that Mahomes would win the MVP for the regular season, and that would pay out 45000 so if he hit on both of those, he'd get a check for $100,000. John, you're getting the helmet right now. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of Johns. I got one. I don't know what I did. I didn't <laughs> see anything. <laughs> They're fired up, man. They you got see- a mic, you play the game. Dude, they want to see cat face, man. This is, this is my kind of crowd. <laughs> I personally say go for it, but... Oh, it's not gee. my face on the, on the pod. <laughs> this is, how does this turn yeah, into but 12 it's Angry Men? income that could be affected if this <laughs> yeah. thing gets fucking canceled. Yeah. 
what was I just? Oh, so he stood to win a hundred thousand dollars if both of those bets hit. Yeah, and they did. They both they? did. Yeah. So the Chiefs ended up. Uh, <coughs> All right, so the Chiefs uh, beat the Eagles. What was the fucking day? February twelfth. The Chiefs beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl. But is he? Does he have to keep it sneaky because he doesn't want them to know that he could have made the bet with stolen money? He doesn't. But that's an interesting point you bring up because there was um, ESPN made a really cool documentary about this, and in it, one of the guys who started a friendship with him through Twitter because he would communicate with everybody. Yeah, like, this guy was like so chill. Um, a little birdie told this gentleman that Chiefs Aholic had just placed an 80 grand bet on a Chiefs game and was like, yo, your boy just placed a massive bet on the Chiefs to to beat the Bills this Sunday. So the guy who he was communicating with on Twitter, uh, Jeff's getting the helmet now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play the game? So his Twitter buddy <laughs> had said like, yo, is it true you just placed an 80G bet on the Chiefs to beat the Bills this Sunday? He's like, yo, keep that under wraps because I like to hustle in private. Damn. Yeah. So cool. It is I'm going to start hustling in private. I know. <laughs> I'm going to start doing my cafes in yeah. private, man. Watch a lot of Hustler in private. <laughs> but uh, that's just an indication that he's got a lot of disposable income now. So it turns out that... <laughs> But still uh, won't pay 65 bucks to park in front of the stadium. No. <laughs> Listen, old habits die hard, baby. <laughs> it said hires a stretch uh, Hummer to drop him off in, at the front gate. So it turns out, Jake, what he was doing. So he starts robbing banks on March 2nd, 2022. And w- until he's finally arrested in December 16th of 2022. So during that nine-month time span, he's robbed anywhere between seven and nine banks or attempted to rob. One of the banks he hit twice, they actually changed, like, the name of the bank, and he went back and he robbed the same place. <laughs> wow. So he's got all this fucking cash to play with now. There are times where uh, they put a fucking die pack in the bag so he doesn't get to keep any of the fucking money. And oh, really? His biggest score was over $300,000. It was all clean. No yeah. No die pack yep. in there. And he would go to banks and he would ask for large bills. Sometimes they would only have smaller bills. And either he would take what they had or he'd just say, fuck this, this isn't worth it, and take off. But through all the bank robberies that he successfully completed, he ended up making out with over $800,000. Oh, man. Yeah, man. This is in, like, the course of a year. He was made. Truly was. Dude, he was making more than some of, like, the the lower-tier players on the (laughs) team. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Uh, Evan, Evan says, I think it's racist that Mike thinks all cats are black. Dude, I would even be willing to do... Gray face. So just think about it. If if gray face is all right with you, you also guys, have gray makeup, brother. He is probably white and black. John, you have no idea what I have in my bedroom, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's swimming in all this fucking cash, dude. So, oh, one of the things he tries to um, thank you guys for the super chats, unnecessary oh but much God. appreciated. You guys are fucking awesome, Harrison. Uh, can, as part of his um. As part of his uh, bail uh, conditions, he's placed on, uh, he's got an ankle monitoring device, and he's got to stay in Tulsa. He petitions the court to allow him to go to that Super Bowl that I just mentioned where the Eagles Eagles lost to the Chiefs, unfortunately. Yeah, they bullshit, deny that. A bullshit holding call. It truly is, man. Yeah. yeah. Great game up until, yeah. yeah. So about a month and a half after that Super Bowl, all right, he gets that check for hundred grand from the casino where he plays those two bets. Mm-hmm. He's like, fuck this shit. He cuts his ankle monitor off, and he's hitting the road. <laughs> Pay the fines. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts his ankle monitoring device off, and he's out and about again, man. Uh, in April, the draft is in Kansas City, and there's a lot of rumors that he's going to be there for that. Like, as a, as the ultimate Chiefs fan, you cannot miss the draft <laughs> being in your city. Yeah. Now. There's a lot of rumors that he's there, but ultimately he does not end up attending. That's that's sad. It kind of is, man. Yeah, because we have that guy who shows up at all the games with the mohawk, yeah, and the face paint. You know, I feel like every city has a, a person. Yeah, you know? and for chief, what's it? Waz- chief Saholic. So chief, chief Saholic, not to be there. I mean, we were gonna, you were gonna call him Chief Wazoo, weren't you? I was not gonna call him that. <laughs> Which is a nice made up name that I like. Thank you. That is kind of nice. Thank you. <clears throat> Why don't you blow it up, your old Chief Wazoo? <laughs> It does sound like something a mom would refer Chief to this guy wazoo, as. Wazoo, wazoo. <laughs> yeah. 
But Jake, between March 24th of 2023 and July of 2023, he robs two more banks. He's on fire right now. It's kind of nuts because he just got a check for 100 grand. But if he got it, he would get caught. If he tried to cash it, I guess. He couldn't have gotten cash for that at a casino? What do you think? Would they take an actual check? Or also, why didn't he get his winnings in? uh, Oh, I guess he didn't go to the casino. He He got it mailed. Because the bets were placed in Illinois. Uh, And he's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. Okay. Yeah, kind of, kind of sad. It's insane to, to get that kind of money, win that kind of money from a bet, and not be able to cash it in right away. Yeah, I know that. It's I, misleading. I, I always go to the what do they call the person who, uh, the bet person, the, that takes the bets or gives the money out. The Both. Yeah. The not bet. a bookie, but the lady. Uh, the teller, yeah. yeah. I, I'm usually at the teller before the game's even fucking done being processed. Do you know what? It's probably a safety issue. Because if, if you, they just handed you the winnings then and there, you probably have a swarm of people watching you, <clears throat> following you, murdering I know, you. I, well, I saw a guy, I think it was like 10 Gs he won when I was in Vegas in October. You just left with the cash? Yeah. Yeah. He was like talking to, to the people behind him, and I was one of the guys behind him. He was like talking about just different games that were going on at the time, and they were just stacking up $1,000 fucking packs. Wow. So I don't know if it's a safety issue, man. Could be. I think you probably have the option. Yeah. 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 So, Jake, he's on the run. He commits two more bank robberies, and finally, July 7th, 2023, he's arrested in Lincoln, California, which is a suburb of Sacramento. Hmm. Who got him? <clears throat> was it like the a fucking Paw Patrol? Was it really? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> That's appropriate for Chase the way was on dressed. the case. Rubble was backing him up. They they nearly Damn, shot him. You know half the Paw Patrol. I do. Look at that! Wow. Is that really half of yeah, them? Was, yeah, Chase and the other one. He said Rubble. I think Rocky's one of them. Rocky's. Yeah. Look at that. Three yeah. three out of four. Yeah, they'll be there on the double. Bingo. Finish it up, poor <laughs> pervert. <laughs> That's what you get for not letting me do cat face. Was it the FBI who got him? I don't know. It would be great if he came out one of those things they catch animals with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take them to the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they got him. And at the time, he was suspected in seven robberies. <clears throat> and he admitted to the extra four? Or they eventually... Well, f- that's, a- that's actually a good question. Um I don't know why I always say that's actually a good question because I think the assumption is that you're a fucking moron. It's very insulting. I, I know exactly why, and you said it precisely. I apologize. Oh. You and, did not deserve that. They agree as well that I am a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Um, so he's suspected in seven, and uh, they eventually find out, the FBI finds out, that he's been laundering money by going to casinos in Missouri, Kansas, uh, Missouri, Kansas and Illinois. So as soon as he gets all this money, he'll just go. He'll place a ton of bets. He'll fucking cash out. There's some times where he even wins. Yeah. I think there was um there was one instance where he he ended up gambling with like 300 grand and he left with 380. Wow. So pretty sick of existence. Mm-hmm. And uh, if anybody watched the video that was posted this week on the Patreon, you know how much we love our love to throw those chips around, baby. Yeah, I'd be gambling out <laughs> there. Oh shit, I got the helmet now. It's just must have saw the glazed look in my eye. <laughs> and it go. But I mentioned he committed two robberies while on the run. He committed his robberies in Nevada and California while on the run. And he never hurt anybody during a robbery. It depends upon what your definition of hurt is. No. He would uh he would point a gun at people. It was not a real gun. And he would say if they don't comply, he's gonna put a bullet in their head. So if you define um, that as hurt. I don't. Physically hurt. I don't either. Mike, was it a regular bullet or a silver bullet? Jake, that's a great joke. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. And I like it. Oh, does, it does this break? Y- you're trying to buckle your microphone, Jake. Hey, look. Jake, what are you doing? You finally broke it. The helmet finally quit on him. <laughs> Dude, the... Uh, so he eventually... He comes to a plea agreement where... He pleads guilty to 11 bank robberies. However, there's only 
three charges that he's that he's actually pleading guilty to. Yeah. I still don't understand this, but he was he had one char- one charge of bank robbery, one charge, one count of money laundering, and one count of uh, transporting stolen property. And part of the plea agreement was that he admitted, also admitted to the two robberies while on the run. They were pretty nice to this guy, it seems. It does seem that. So I wonder if somebody influential ended up advocating on his behalf. Because it you seems really like they have him dead so. to rights. I don't know, man. I like that conspiracy theory. I do, too. Did you come up with that on your own? I did. Huh. I think maybe somebody with a last name like Mahomes or... Or Kelsey. No, dude, uh-huh. I think Goodell. It's a bad look on the... <clears throat> That's the NFL... Commissioner. But we're talking about advocating on his behalf. Yeah, I'm saying, like, I I know that they have ties in the legal system, so I'm sure they pulled any string they could to kind of, like, make this go away. You know what I mean? I mean, he's still going to get jail time, but, like, to reduce it as much as they could and all that kind of stuff. And plus, I think the court probably took into account that the first step uh, in being a chiefs holic is admitting that you're a chiefs holic And yeah. there is evidence that he entered a 12-paw program. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes. Thumbs up all around indeed. Oh, my God. <laughs> So just a couple of weeks ago, uh, he made this plea agreement. And Jake, uh, on July 10th of this year, he's due to be sentenced. He is facing up to 50 years. Oh, oh my prison. God. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't going to do half of that. I hope not, man. And he's he probably he, told his lawyer to go oh, <laughs> and cut it in half. Dude, when his lawyer came out to speak when when he at his uh, plea agreement, <laughs> he came out and he said something like uh, um, the state had uh, Mr. Babadar. Um, under pressure, he evaded the pressure and escaped the pocket. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was something that's saying it. I wish I had it uh, in my pocket right now. But, uh, yeah, he's facing 50 years in prison. And right now he's in uh, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, which is no fucking joke, baby. Damn, it's on your ass to Leavenworth for that. Yeah. So we are going to have to, we are going to have to write him. Are his mugshots in the wolf costume or is he in normal get up? Oh. I told you the clip thing's broken. Oh, what the fuck, Jake? Yeah, I was already broken. I don't. All right, it was already broken. I'll fix it. Yeah, so we're gonna write to him, and we're pulling for you, brother. Um, we don't hold any ill will against uh, most people that we speak about on this program, and you're at the top of the list, baby. And remember, it's cat face. That yeah. Mike wanted to do. It is. That Mike still wants to do. <laughs> He's so sad. Listen, I I, re- <clears throat> I I understand what John's concerned about, and uh, sometimes I have to consider other people's positions and feelings, and that's what I'm doing right now. I appreciate that. I wish your nose was this close so I could boop it. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm close enough to hear the milkshake in Jake's belly right now. (laughs) (laughs) That thing be talking up a storm. He needs his own microphone in there. Yeah, get him a mic. (laughs) Mic'd up. All right, we have now officially reached the kumquat hour. And it seems like a perfect time to mention that I'll be in Indianapolis, Indiana, this weekend at Helium Comedy Club's Small Room. 22nd and 23rd of March. Please, if you know anybody there, tell them to come, even if they're an old... Bitch, I'll make him laugh. <laughs> I'll send my old uh, Airbnb host who rated me down a star because I didn't spend enough time with her. What? <laughs> yeah. like, bro, okay, yeah. yeah, she needs to come to the show. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. She was. Me- she said, I wish I would have spent more time with him. And so she rated me down a star. Dude, because that that's can't insane. be allowed. Yeah, yeah. Cause you she was have to house. appeal that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, w- I was going between bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're going for. And Bub, you have to appeal that bub. <laughs> you have to do it for your own sake. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the most bizarre a- uh, yeah, Airbnb I'll, review I've I'll ever heard. I'll send her uh, a flyer for the <laughs> Yeah, show. please. You guys are being accused of having feline AIDS for not allowing me to do cat face. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I fuck cats, okay? I'll admit to that. 
I'm and also being I'm also being uh blamed for the helmet, so sorry guys. That's all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll oh fix yeah, it. as soon as you touched it. Yeah. Fucking thing breaks. Actually, you know what? I should be wearing a cone right now, being that I'm a cat. I should be wearing a cone on my proper cat face. I'm sure you've got one in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm friggin' real, man. I know you're upset about this, but I'm not worried. You're going to land on your feet. And just a reminder, after this episode, we will be going over to Patreon <laughs> to speak about our recent experiences at One Sky Zone. Yeah, we uh, we had a blast Friday at Sky Zone. Um, all patrons were invited to join us to see Jake re-enter the foam pit. Afterwards, we had uh, a wonderful pizza party, which also turned into a hoagie party mm-hmm. because yeah. fucking Dean showed up with goddamn hoagies like yeah. a like a damn king. Earl's subs. Those things were banging. Dean, mm-hmm. you're the fucking man, dude. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Thanks to you and your lady. Yeah, man. Thank you to everybody that came out to the foam pit party. I need my hat. <laughs> and we're going to be planning more shit where everybody gets to hang out together, man. We're going to do something fun. We're going to try to do that a couple times a year. <laughs> So that we can chill with everybody, have fun. It'll be related to something that have to, has to do with the show. I would like to, and tell me if you guys are up for this, at some point revisit Spawn Ranch and invite people to come chill with us and we'll have a picnic there. Yeah. Dude, Wouldn't that be, be fun? Great. We should do a little live episode. Oh, my God. A little recap. What would we have to eat, Mike? Oh, uh, I would bring cat food for myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to get a new passport photo. You can bring whatever the fuck you want, but. But I'll be munching on some fucking meow mix myself. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Also, th- oh no. I'm, I'll wait for the AMA because this is an aspect of the phone pit party that I'm going to talk about. Yeah. Phone pit says behind the fucking paywall. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but I really had a blast, and uh, it's just a fun, ton of fun to do shit like that. I saw some conspiracy theories in the chat early on. Hit me with it. That uh, I. Did not make it out of the foam pit, and I am actually my twin. <laughs> Jacob Prink? Jacob Prink, <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. We might have to do a DNA test, but I don't think that would <laughs> actually yeah. that would be inconclusive. Just let me know where to stick my finger, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad did you want to see me do cat face? Probably six. I know. <laughs> I wanted more, but also I knew it's probably not good for you to do it, probably on a yeah. public stream. Yeah. Hey, there's always Patreon that I won't let you do it on. <laughs> I don't know it? what the fuck happened to that helmet. It seems like <clears throat> I don't physically Is this impossible. the one you brought to the party? I saw Mike Trainer wearing it. <laughs> Is he in the chat? He is in the chat. Did Mike. he make the helmet unusable somehow? <laughs> The way it became detached does not make any sense. Lou Nothing Tibbs, is broken. I like Lou Tibbs' idea. Camping trip in the Pine Barrens. That would be fun. Ooh. Everybody's going to be sleeping ass up that night. I got to ask you this. Um, what do you like to do when you go to Indianapolis? When I go to Indianapolis, what I like to do is go to a preseason game with Brad Williams and get on the field before the game <laughs> and then have an old groundskeeper sneakily ask me, is that we man and me say fucking right it is and I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, Brad Williams is one of the nicest fucking guys in the world. Yeah, I love that guy. Yeah, he's the man. Was it you who told me the Blizzard story? Yeah, yeah. Um, I forget what year was that. Maybe 2014 ish. There was a blizzard in Philly, and Helium they had their shows that night. Brad Williams was headlining, and I was taking a friend who was going through a divorce, found that he was being cheated on, uh, ultimately got fired for some improper stuff. Yeesh. But right. before that... Stop saying so much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, He's a Libra. Before I, you say his fucking name and social. <laughs> yeah. I thought he should get out for a night on the town, so I took him to Helium that night, and Brad Williams was headlining, and uh, we got snowed in, and my friend ended up vomiting oh all throughout God. the vestibule. <laughs> But I was snowed in the Philly for that weekend. I had to stay at our dear friend Chip Chantry's apartment. And uh, Brad Williams could not have been kinder to, to me and every other comic that was hanging out that night. Oh, nice. You hung out and uh, stayed in the club for a while after the yeah. show? He he offered everybody stage time, but I didn't end up going up. I think I just ended up getting drunk all weekend. 
That's what I like to do. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to see his success. Very nice guy. Yeah, I'm hoping to hit maybe a uh, maybe a little bit of some March Madness action while I'm there. Oh. I don't know how much. Is it first round that's happening when I'm there? Well, they technically call it the second fucking round because the first round is like the play-in shit. Okay. So it won't be like the most expensive ticket to buy. I could probably get in there for hopefully less than 100 bucks maybe. What what day are you going to be free? I would try to go Sunday. Sunday is technically I th- the second round. It's, they call right. it the first four is like tonight and tomorrow night. Yeah. Thursday and Friday are the first round and then second round. I guess it's the round of like 32. Uh, it becomes 32 by Sunday? Yeah, okay. right. 64 to 32. Okay. Oh, boys. You got How it. did he do it? Oh, boys. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do it? You'll have to I run me through this. Fixed it, bro. There's no way it's fully fixed. Fi- no, it's not fully fixed. Yeah, it know. works just enough. <laughs> Shane Oberman asked, uh, where did I get the coffee table? Uh, this is the nicest thing I own. This coffee table was made by John McKeever's dad, who was an, an expert craftsman. And uh, if you go on his Instagram, it's Wearworks, which is W-A-R-E-W-O-R-X. He makes stuff all the time, and then he just puts it on there to sell. And... Uh, it's the most beautiful stuff that he makes, and he just, he'll, more, more than fair prices for everything. Yeah. But yeah, M- McKeever, who's good at fucking everything he does. Yeah. Um, His dad is, he must get it for him because his dad fucking just makes stuff stuff it's like it's no big deal. Gorgeous table, dude. Got some and live edge action over there. Got some hairpin legs. Got some nice little bow ties in that crack over there. Yeah, what do they call Love it? Love the green epoxy. That's what I was just going to ask. Uh, yeah, I n- I've never seen epoxy that color. It really adds to it. keeps it kind of natural, mm-hmm. forest-like. That's the first thing I say when I go into a woodmaker shop. I say, uh, bust it open and let me see that epoxy. <laughs> bust it open. Bust it open, keep it natural. Show me that epoxy. <laughs> there you go. That sounds like a Kia song. <laughs> is that a... You mean like a car commercial or is that a lady? No, the, my neck, my back, oh. lick my pussy and my crack. My wedding song. Does he kiss the wood when he finishes it? Yeah, McLean Dancy, he does. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to kiss your table when it's ready. I know. <laughs> I've always Even that. at a restaurant. Dude. Even <laughs> at a fucking Chili's, I'm kissing that table. Dude, when I go to Outback, uh, I kiss sir, my we buzzer. we haven't wiped the table yet. Del Calo, party of one for four. <laughs> <laughs> table for four for one. Your table's ready to be kissed. Yeah, like, man. have you ever put your mouth on a on a restaurant table or or bar? What I have put my mouth on recently that I was concerned about <laughs> was: Do you remember when we spent the day in San Francisco? <coughs> yeah. So when we went to San Francisco at the end of our last stinkers trip, we went to I don't even know what to call it. It's just a very cool, spooky old arcade on the pier, old timey arcade. Yeah, and yeah. there was a Museum little mechanic, I think. Okay. <laughs> And there was a uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> a mechanical fortune teller encased in glass, like the one from Big. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I got my fortune, I liked it so much uh, that I kissed the glass. And as soon as I kissed the glass, I was really worried about something appearing on my lip <laughs> in a few days. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that guy that's rolling around on roller skates with a, a, a hip holster <laughs> yeah, of quarters yeah. <laughs> washes everything every single day. <laughs> yes, I agree, man. And that's why I felt better about it. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Uh, Musée Mécanique. Yeah, a place that I have walked by probably a dozen times yeah. and I never knew existed. It's fucking cool, man. It's in that weird restaurant area. Yep. There's like four little outdoor um, like counter service places yeah. that are all seafood and clam- four different places to get a clam chowder and a bread bowl. Yep. And they just kind of look like a... It's kind of like a rundown looking area compared to everything else. Yeah, you get to it and you're like, oh, this is the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chaz Minivan says, more like Pousse Mechanique. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't call the glass afterwards. <laughs> which is, uh, I, I do fall in love quick. As anybody that knows me, like you guys, you'll probably say, if there's one thing you say about me, it's like, man, Mike falls in love so quick with ladies that aren't his wife. <laughs> Yes, uh, I I am always saying that. Yeah. And Dustin Preston says, confirm Mike's a window licker. <laughs> <laughs> confirm. <laughs> Dude, um, we're going to San Francisco again in the fall, and I can't fucking wait. Would you guys consider doing, like, something fun out there with uh, patrons? 
Yeah. Absolutely, cool. dude. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do a 13-mile uh, loop hike over from Muir Woods to Stinson Beats. How does that sound? I would love it. Okay. We you won't really do cruising. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring plenty of bandanas and assorted colors. <laughs> I also learned, I was talking bandana spreadsheets last night, and I learned that... Um, in like Florida at these yeah. uh, retirement homes, they have the same kind of concept, but they use loofahs, like shower loofahs. Mm. Okay. And all the colors mean like whatever STD they already have or some shit. Really? Something like that. They'd be freaky down there. Old people be freaking. That's one thing that we found out recently. Uh, all guys will walk around with certain bandanas and the color signifies what you're into. The pocket that you have it in signifies something that you're into. So yeah. if you guys want to do a bandana meetup while we're in San Francisco, I would actually love that. Mm-hmm. Do we will we use the existing codes or do we create our own codes? Uh, everybody's bandana means Romeo Circle. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. any pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what does what does that make uh, Bruce Springsteen a on the Born to Run album? A patriot, brother, renegade, him and Obama. Red handkerchief out of the one of the butt cheeks, mm-hmm. right? That yeah, has you got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, technically, yeah, I guess. Yeah, the cruising, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what do we narrow him down to? He's going to find out for us. He was born in the B-U-S-S-E-Y. <laughs> 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 All right. We're pulling it up now. We're finding out. Jorge said, Red it is uh, fat friendly. in the yes. right pa- pocket. It's fat-friendly, Jake? He Let's hear it right in It's fat-friendly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm welcomed with very open arms. Red in the right pocket is a fist fucky. Whoa. And what is it in the left? He fist does fucker. The- Whoa. <laughs> the song Streets of Fist Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It all makes sense now. <laughs> I was bruised and battered. And I couldn't <laughs> tell what I felt. Oh my God. <laughs> I was unrecognizable to myself. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Brandon said we should get sticker bandanas. We should. And I would love that. be a Romeo circle. <laughs> the ancient Romeo circle. That's oh all, all that pottery. Oh, my God. Romeo circle is something that came to me, obviously, from ancient forces that I have. With I believe enemy. it. Yeah. Quinn yeah. said the E Street hand. <laughs> <laughs> John, uh, was there any kind of circumstances uh, when you had this kind of um, apparition? Were you, were you a few IPAs in? Uh, were you in a meditative state? <laughs> yeah, all of it. All right, I'll go back to talking to everybody else, man. Uh, Poop Dollar, Bruce Finkerstein, love it. Ooh, uh, Lou Tibbs, I like that. I forgot about your Amatio. What's that? When you fuck a severed head. Jesus Christ. Oh, how could you forget about something like that? I know. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I forgot about ear. Wait, that's my confirmation name. (laughs) No wonder that priest was trying to get me in the altar boy changing room alone. (laughs) Y'all ever break down the word bandana? It's just a banana with a little D in it. Bro, that was genius. (laughs) Thank you. All right, y'all. Y'all, we're about to head over to the Little Stinkers <laughs> Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Little Stinkers. Uh, we're going to do a live AMA over there for an hour or so. We're going to keep the party going all fucking night. I don't even give a fuck For anymore. sure. And we're, don't forget to come see us live. Yeah, and also check us out. Uh, oh, baby, Jake, let me bring up all our show dates. We will be in Boston mm-hmm. on April 5th. We will be in Hartford, Connecticut on April 6th. Come we will on. be in Pottstown, New Jersey on April 27th. We've already sold out one show in Chicago on May 25th, but we added a second show on May 26th, and those tickets are already halfway sold as well. So if you're thinking about coming to that, that is Memorial Day weekend. Maybe we'll have a little picnic by the lake while we're there or something. Mm-hmm. Maybe one of us will get caught masturbating in public. We're going to make Jake do that. <laughs> and then we also have uh, Morris Plains, New Jersey on is it May, May the 4th. 4th? May the 4th, the no. um, <laughs> wasn't going to do it. But yeah, this uh, the link for all the tickets will be in the uh, put in the show description, so yep. check that out when you can. And yeah, come see us. Fucking April 4th, Boston. April, f- I'm sorry, April 5th, Boston. April 6th, Hartford, Connecticut. And um, yeah, come see us in Chicago too. May 26th, that's going to be where it's at, baby. 
Yeah. And thank you, guys. Thank you for those of you that bought tickets to see us in Chicago. That's our first sellout. Um, it really excited me to see that. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Yeah. Sold out in like yeah. less than three days. So Yeah, two days, baby. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Insane. And now the second one's already pretty well sold, too. Mm-hmm. This is we'll going to sell out. out both. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Thank you Chicago's guys. our place. Yeah, I love it there, man. It's, it's, it's honestly one of my favorite cities. I can't wait to go back. It's been fourteen years since I've been there. Yeah, yeah. shit. I was two thousand eight, so not far. You were there less than two years ago, though. I was. <laughs> First time, long time for me, man. I am excited. Oh, Jack, dude, for you, it, I don't know if you're coming over to the Patreon, but I'll get high for you here for you, you know, for you. Yeah, we'll see you over there. But, yeah, join us on the Patreon. If you're not a patron yet, go to patreon.com slash Little Snickers. That's L-A-L-S-T-I-N-K-E-R-S. It's 4 bucks a month or just 40 bucks for the year. Uh, we're doing a live stream just about every week now. Yeah. Uh, extra episodes, um, mini sneaker episodes. All of our travel videos we're putting out weekly at this point. Yes. Uh, sneaker News, which is a monthly stream we do recapping the most fucked up, funniest stories in true crime. <coughs> Next Wednesday night, we're doing a live book club stream where we're discussing Charles Manson's favorite book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And I am going to try to manipulate these two with what I've learned in the book. And we're adding new shit all the time. Um, We'll make it worth your while if you join us over there. That's patreon.com slash little stinkers. And, guys, thank you for all for joining us on here tonight. And in a few minutes, we're going to head over there, and uh, we'll see you over on the Patreon. And we're going to be discussing Jake's experience in the ball pit. Can't wait. All right. Love you guys. And I am still in a not over not being allowed to wear cat face. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> <laughs> and my stomach going to be getting its own mic. Ha, 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 ha.